All right, guys, this video is me talking for five minutes straight and then me and Lindsay cutting and stacking a bunch of firewood. So I know it's not the most entertaining video, but please hear me out and uh, thank you for all the love and support that you give us and we appreciate you guys. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, we're about to change the game up. We've been working heavily on the shop. But we're kind of on a hold up over there. I gotta get this burn pile burnt up before I can do anything else. It's all in my way. Unfortunately, we're on a burn ban right now, so we can't burn, but we did get some rain today, and we're expecting like three or four more days of rain this week, so maybe they'll lift the burn ban, and early next week we'll be able to burn this. Enough about that. Today I am starting the biggest project of my whole entire life. I wanna put a house right there. I know I've been talking a lot already, but I need to explain the backstory of how this went. When I was probably in my mid twenties, I learned about these things called earth ships. And it's basically just an eco-friendly house that recycles and reuses most of the resources. And it's pretty self-efficient. Every year on my week vacation, I would go out to Northern New Mexico in the Taos area is where a bunch of these earth ships are. And I would go rent one for a couple of days and stay there. I would take friends and family and stuff. I just loved these whole style of houses. And it's what I always wanted for my first house. To build these style of houses, you need a really good southern facing home so you can gather a lot of the sun. That's what heats and cools the house. Unfortunately, my property points to the north. So I knew as soon as I bought this property that it wasn't gonna be possible for me to build this style of home because I'm on such a hill and everything to the south is national forest which i can't control the trees on so i will never actually have full access to the sun especially during the winter time the traditional earthship is built with used tires that they then pack completely full of dirt and they build a u-shaped wall all the way around the back side of the house and it's a ton of work and for a home that wouldn't actually do everything I wanted to do. Um, yeah, I was looking for alternatives. My friends at Simple Life Reclaim, Mel and Gary, built a cinder block basement and then backfilled it with dirt because they have a big hill as well. And I knew right then that this would probably be the cheapest, quickest alternative for me to still have the earth cooling the house even though I couldn't have the sun heating the house. I know it's really hard to see the grade in the camera, but from this big pine tree right here that was struck by lightning, all the way up there to that silver table that you see, is seven foot of drop. So the plan is somewhat similar to what we did back here, except back here we dug down and evened it out across. Over here, we're gonna dig all this dirt out and remove it so everything right here will be the same height as this tree so it'll be something like this it's going to be a lot of work to remove all that dirt but it's going to save me hundreds if not thousands of dollars a year in keeping the house cool now different from simple life reclaimed we're not going to put another story on top we're just going to do a single floor with a, like a walkout basement style but that'll be the home I should probably mention the only thing I've built in my life is a birdhouse and it wasn't very impressive. Um, I'm gonna make mistakes, but I feel confident knowing that I have an army of friends that have already been down these roads and have these skills and that I have you guys there to support me and help me along the way. Some of the work's gonna get really repetitive, I know, especially after all the dirt work we just did over there, but. Y'all are gonna see from the very first scoop of dirt until I have a livable home here on YouTube. Even if it takes a year and a half or five years, hopefully not. We're about to start cutting the first trees and Lindsay is on her way to help as well. We are gonna get back to the shop stuff as soon as possible. So don't worry about that. This isn't gonna take away from the shop. I'm just kind of stuck right now over there. All right, the plan is for the house to be right in here. I don't know the exact angle yet. We got to get all this cleared out so we can visualize a little better. Back here, we are going to remove a bunch of these trees and that'll be the next location for the burn pit. So 
what I'm going to do right now is get off in there with a chainsaw, start cutting down the little stuff until I have a decent little area to start a fire. Then we'll push over the big guys. I'm sorry to just keep rambling on, but I had to lay the foundation for the plans so you guys know what the goals are. Thank you guys in advance for watching. Thank you for all the support. I feel like I literally have an army of people behind me. You guys are so supportive. And um, I really feel like you're on my team and it keeps me motivated. So thank you guys for watching. Let's shut up and get to work. Candle calls the mama, I'm sure all the hand and I just around. Candle calls and mama, I'm sure all the hand and now just around. Candle calls them, I'm, I'm sure all the hand and now just around. Calls a mama, I'm sure all the hand and I just around. Okay guys, I am done filming myself cutting trees down. You can see we got quite a bit more to clean up. Um, these are big guys. This pile is unbelievably huge now. But I think we're gonna have to clear around it enough that it'll be okay. Still need to clear some of this. But I've got all this area cut down. I'm gonna cut down a couple of these little guys right here. The big trees still have to come down with the backhoe, but luckily we have been getting rain. So I don't want to move the backhoe and make a bunch of ruts over there. Anyways, I'm going to save you guys the agony of having to watch the rest of this. I appreciate you guys sticking around to, uh, to the end of the video. This is a big project and we're going to be moving on it pretty heavily. So hope you guys stick around. Don't think that this is going to put a hold on the shop build because I'm just waiting for... That burn pile and everything, as soon as we can get back over there, we will. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to my members for supporting my channel. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.